Hi, my name is Julia Garari, and I'm going to be reading from a story called Cracked. We scream surprise, and you can tell someone told Jim about the party beforehand. His fingers are splayed on either side of his head, mouth open like a fish, eyes with the white showing. The room is cold, too cold. People are eating cake and laughing, and there's that sound that comes from too many people talking in a room. Low and crowded, rolling over me in waves. It should be me. It should be me. It should be my husband. No people or cakes. Just him and his truck. And me sinking back into his arms like lying on the living room floor. Jack is talking to Jean. They're sipping drinks, and she's touching his arm in that way she does, drawing close. My breath catches in my throat. She's telling him. I know she's telling him. She's telling him that my husband isn't coming home. I'm out the screen door without even realizing it. I sit in the grass with my back to the house. I've always liked the woods at night, how the trees fold into black paper cutouts. The screen door squeaks, and I don't even turn around, knowing it's Jean coming to tell me off or to introduce me to another man. Someone sits down beside me, warm and dark, but still, I don't look. I'm sorry to hear about your husband. It's Jack. I keep not looking at him. He's not dead, I say. I know, he says. We sit there for a few minutes, but not in silence. There are the hollow mating calls of the wood frogs and the muffled voices from inside, but also something else. Hope is a sound. Uncertainty is a sound.